Okay, so in this tutorial, I would like to talk about what's called the new interval in the settings. So if you go to the gear icon next to one of your decks and you click options, under the lapses tab, you'll find this, uh, this setting called new interval. So the new interval is by default set to 0%. And what that means is, well, first of all, why is it under the lapses tab? Well, lapse is short for memory lapse. So it's, the, it's a lapse of your memory essentially. If you forget something, then it's considered a lapse in Anki. And here are some settings related to forgetting cards. So the new interval is by default set to zero. And what that means is if you're reviewing a card, every time you get it correct, the interval increases. So first maybe it's one day and then four and then a week and then three weeks and then a month and a half, etc. Um, so the interval increases every time you get it correct. Now, if you get it incorrect, then the interval will do something depending upon what your settings are. And of course, the intervals themselves, how they increase over time will depend on your settings. Um, but what I'm talking about here is what the settings do to what the interval will become if you don't get your card correct, but instead you fail the card. So. Um, by default, if you fail the card, the new interval is 0% of your current interval, which means even if you had an interval of a year on a card, um, if you fail it, it goes to 0, 0%, zero meaning it's going to show up um, that day. It's going to show up basically, um, you fail it, it's going to show up again on the same day, and then if you get it correct, it'll show up the next day. Um, or it'll show up whatever whatever your settings have it um, do as a as a card that you get correct originally. Basically, like it's just going to do the same thing that any card would do when it first goes from being new to being a card that you're reviewing, uh, depending on your settings. So so what that means is you lose all of the progress that you made, even if your card um, has an interval of a year. If the new interval is 0%, if you fail it, it goes to 0, and you start completely over. But the other option is you could set it, for instance, to 50%. And what that means is if your interval is a whole year, and then you forget the card, it actually just goes to 6 months. It's going to show up again that day until you get it correct, but once you get it correct, it's going to show up 6 months from now. So the idea here is you might think to yourself, well... If I got the interval all the way up to a year, then after I saw it, let's say you, you see it after that year, and then you forget it. Well, it might not be that you need to start completely over. It might be, oh, well, this is a card that you could remember for like um, over six months. You're just not going to remember it for the whole year. So it would make sense in that case for the new interval to simply be half of what it was um, when you saw it going to six months. So you can have the interval be 50 or 75 or, you know, any, anything you want. I normally set my interval around uh, 75 or 50. And this is simply because I think um, in a lot of cases, you don't really need to start a card completely over. You simply need to see it more frequently if you get it incorrect. So that's what this does essentially. If you have a new interval of 75%, for example, if you fail a card, you don't really lose very much progress, but it is this thing where if you get the card correct, it's going to, the interval is going to increase, which makes sense, and if you get it incorrect, it's going to decrease. So instead of going to zero, it just decreases um, a certain amount, meaning you just see it more frequently. So basically, if you have a setting like this, then you don't lose all that much progress if you get a card correct or incorrect. I mean, you don't lose that much progress if you get a card incorrect. You simply will see the card more frequently than otherwise. So um, 0% as the default setting. This is the default setting, as I said, 0%. Um, and that's fine, but you could play with other settings like 75 or 50 or something like that. So anyway, um, you can think about what you should do, but... For the purpose of this tutorial, the most important thing is just to understand what the new interval, in fact, does. 
So uh, that's it for now.